Hell yeah. Hello, Heartbeaters. Guys, today I've got another Heartbeat Channel Spotlight. Today we're looking at Ali Osgar. He's got 80 moments. He's got 500 drafts, so he's got lots of moments that he's working on, and he's going to get the, the titles and everything correct for them and get the timing correct. But check this out. Here's his page. If we go to his moments section, here we go. We're going to go down it a little bit. Look at this. we got Do You Want the Truth? The Matrix, the Matrix Explained. I'm going to watch that one later. But... As a Civilization fan, somebody who played the first one, like in 1989 or whenever the hell it came out, or 1990, I took a bus to Vancouver to go buy it. It was all my money, and I bought it, and I played it for like a thousand hours as a little kid. I love it. Well, here's the thing with Ali. He covers uh, Civilization, and he's got some of the latest stuff. Civ 4, Civ 4, according to many, is the best one ever. Civ 4, Civ 5, there's a little bit of a debate there. But look at this here. As we go through his moments here, he's got all of these awesome different moments in terms of, you know, all those great scientific discoveries and all the great things like that. So all the great wonders of the world, the Colossus, the Temple of Artemis, Eiffel Tower, Chichen Itza. I don't even know what that one is, guys. And this is what I want to focus on because this is one way to use Heartbeat. If you've got a game like Civ and you want to cover all the great advances or all the great, you know, whatever's, this is one way to do it. So in this one, I'm going to dig into Ali Osgar. We're going to look at some of his favorite moments. In particular, we're going to start off with the Temple of Artemis here in Civilization 4. And oh, by the way, look at this here. When I hover, you see that? We've got hovering working so you can actually see the moment as you hover right here. You'll see that it even starts at the right point and it's got audio. So it's just another feature that's been built into Heartbeat. But with that out of the way, let's get into the Temple of Artemis and take a look at what Ali's got going on here. Let's turn the volume up a bit. Temple of Artemis. Oh, yeah, this looks like a CAD drawing come to life. How cool is this? Now, I don't know what this is. This isn't the... No. Temple of Artemis. Okay, I don't know this one. I was going to say it looks like, you know, the, the big temple in in uh, Greece, but I guess I can't remember the bloody name of it. The Parthenon. But that was not the Parthenon. Okay, let's look at Broadway. At 43 seconds, we move forward. We're going to watch Broadway get built. Oh, yeah, with the dinosaur on the side. I like it. Let's skip forward here to the Colossus of Rhodes. The Colossus of Rhodes. Yeah, I remember growing up and always building the Colossus for plus trade. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. Oh, yeah, with all the scaffolding going up. This is cool. This is what Heartbeat is made for, guys. This is the way to do it. Let's look at the Eiffel Tower. Here we're going to France. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cad brought to life. There she goes. That's right. The Eiffel Tower is up. So cool, guys. I could do this all day. The Great Library of Alexandria. Okay, I'll take a look at that. This was burnt down, but uh, it, they still got a, a moment for it. Let's take a look at it. Yeah! An incredible center of learning in Egypt. Burnt down all those years ago. Nobody's 100% sure what did it. Uh, there's lots of good theories and there's evidence, but uh, it's not confirmed. Uh, guys, I mean, this is just, this is nostalgia for me. Like, I, I know, please indulge me a little bit here, but I'm seeing some of my favorite things from when I was a kid here. The, uh, the Great Pyramids of Giza, the Great Wall of China. What the hell, the Hagia Sophia? Let's look at this one here. This was built in Constantinople, now known as, uh, what the hell is it known now as, Istanbul? Yeah, let's take a look at Hagia Sophia. There it comes, great church. So cool, guys, this is just, Fantastic. Let's look at one more, maybe, because I, I know you guys are like, hey, let's let's look at some other moments. I got you, but what the hell? These are just the best of the best. I'm kind of thinking, what do you think about, let's take a look at, um, I would love to see the Manhattan Project. I remember this one here when I was younger, too, building that. Let's do it. Let's build the Manhattan Project. 
All right, Oppenheimer, eat your heart out. Here we go. And there we go. Load up the uranium. And... Oh. Okay, wasn't expecting that. But uh, that's the Manhattan Project. Oh, my God, I'm just going to lose my mind here. This is so cool. You know that as soon as I'm done this video, I am going to log in and play this game. You know how it works. Let's take this one here. Let's take a look at this one here by Ali Asgard. The Matrix Explained. But do you want truth? Well, let's see. I don't even know what this one's about. But, uh, well, I, I know what it's about, but I haven't seen it. So let's take a look. The Matrix, a science fiction film created by oh. the Wachowskis, is probably one of the most influential movies ever made. The story starts Fact. when computer programmer Thomas Anderson, operating as a hacker under the alias Neo, discovers the truth about the world yeah. he's living in, as he becomes aware of the existence of something known as the Matrix. Red pill, blue pill. This is classic. Let's hit red shift, blue shift on the Matrix. I would love to know what this one is. It's offered a choice in the Look form that. of Animated. two pills, a blue one and a red one. If he chooses blue pill. the blue pill, he remains in his everyday life and believes whatever he wants to believe. But if he chooses the red pill, he'll set foot in the real world. And now, I remember when this movie came out and around then Fight Club came out and it was all about challenging reality and, uh, you know, this red pill, blue pill stuff and you are not your uh, Dockers or you're not your Ikea, you know, stuff that you ordered online. Big fan of this stuff, guys. I love these videos. I, I love this guy's style. He's got Civ 4. He's got some Matrix in there. He's got Cormon, which is a freedom game. So this is a game made by Freedom Games. And uh, apparently it's just absolutely amazing. So again, guys, Ali Asgar. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Check out his Heartbeat page. It's fantastic. These are great moments, guys. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.